about selling, selling, selling. I call it the Tai Lopez e-commerce. What is up, my fam squad? I'm here with the entrepreneur manure. For today's video, I wanted to insert one of our projects we recorded over this weekend about our eight e-commerce predictions because it was a good video. So I thought I would share it with my channel. And for everyone that's like, what is Jay talking about? What is this marketing nonsense? I don't even know what you do. This might be really confusing. So you might want to check out the podcast version, which I'll link below. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Um, boring. I'm not waking up yet. It's scary, guys. Wake up. Technology is moving fast. Sam's Club is closing down. Walmart's getting the, the pressure. We are moving to... Ca uh, We're just really IT technology savvy. So, watch out. I hope you guys enjoy. We have Mr. Leon Yi. Today, we are talking about the eight bold predictions in regards to e-commerce and selling products. So, we have here Leon, and we're going to ask him a few questions, and I'm super excited to have him. How are you, Leon? I am awesome. All right. Do you want to give the viewers a little context of who you are, what you do? Yes, I'm an um, attention hustler. Um, I work basically monetize cust um, audience attention and convert those things in and monetize it into dollars and success. Wow. Okay. <laughs> since, since this is a New Year's 2018, um, I thought that it would be nice to start do a predic prediction. Predict, yes. Yes, um, and then since I'm in an e-commerce business, and again, e-commerce is about attention monetization, and and it boils down to how do you take a new customer or existing customer attention and convert those things in a sales journey and sales process. In a way, um, it's actually as a massive change in the industry as usual. Typically, industry e-commerce industry is all about sales, sales, sales. In 2018, things has considerably changed, and I want to kind of discuss those things in my prediction, and and hopefully it kind of show you what the trend and and for you to be able to uh, take advantage of it. All right, we're super excited to jump in here. Hey guys, remember if you like this video to like this video right now and subscribe, and we'll continue this series. And if you can comment out any questions below, we'll get to it as soon as possible. So, sorry. Sorry. So. Amazon Go. Right. The first Tell me more. You're gonna see is when I say e-commerce brand, it's actually a regular brand. Uh, typically, in the in the in the past, a brand usually have multi channels, but their primary channels is selling over in a mall and 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 what we call it distributors. Um, you know, they sell it through stores, they through, sell it to WalMarts, independent stores, and malls and so forth. So in 2018, the first step, the first first. The switch to self services, mm -hmm. and and I'm when I say self services, it's more like not what you think it is. Like going take your off groceries into a, a self checkout, but beyond that, and this is kind of punctuated by uh, the concept called Amazon Go. You come to the store, take anything you not anything you want, but take things that you want, and 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 automatically tracked. Uh, we, you don't need to check out, you put in a purse and just leave. So do you think, as a prediction wise, I mean we just saw Starbucks actually just launched Scan and Go, however people still pour coffee. Do you think it's going to happen to every single retail? I think it's going to happen to Whole Foods, first of all. There, that's the reason why Amazon bought Whole Foods. I think that's going to be what you're going to see in the next one, two years. You will see the Amazon Go concept, it's going to be applied to Whole Foods. Everything. Pretty much. I mean, so customer like the speed, customer mm -hmm. like the uh, ease of use. And Im imagine if you go to a store, you don't even have to bring your wallet. Y your phone is your um, is your wallet, and you don't even have to check out. Um, if you have an uh, Amazon Prime, it automatically deduct from your credit card. That's awesome. So prediction number two. Number two is what we're gonna see the death of mall and and then mall is becoming um rapidly closing down it's like, art, it's like an art museum now <laughs> yes and the reason why is it's not like people doesn't like to go to mall the reason like is that mall used to be the the point of entrance in the pa path to purchase so for example for those who you guys that you know lived 20 years ago um a little bit older like me um typically when we go to malls we start doing our research with an invention of social media, you know, social proof, 
and all of those uh, Facebook um, uh, awareness ads and, and so forth, all of those things have got gone digital. So the mall become less of less becoming um, a, a, a starting point of a customer journey and it's more and more uh, as place just to purchase. And because of it, it become less and less relevant. All retail has to go to um, work a lot more on their own direct sales. Um, typically, brands usually don't do their own marketing. They usually rely on stores to do marketing for them. So if they distribute in Walmart or uh, Target, Target typically doing the, the marketing for them. So as retail become less less uh, hierarchical and more direct, retail has to be able to you know be able to uh, sell directs. And this is great for people like doing in social media, influencer marketing, because those, re those digital mark those digital brand is start looking more and more into you guys as the pl place to get their, um, their customers as a starting journey for their customer to purchase their brand and get to know their brand. What is this next e-commerce? So yeah, so we, have, we are in the process of becoming e-commerce 2.0. The e-commerce way to to sell it differently. So give me, let me give me an example. Um, as Amazon Echo, Alexa, and, and all of this self-awareness happening, is that uh, when you do uh, marketing, you're not actually sent to sell to human being anymore. What? You sell it to the Alexa. Because if you not appear on Alexa, you don't appear anywhere. You don't appear anywhere. And Alexa is getting more machine learning as you speak. So I call it machine to machine purchase. Instead, it used to be um, human to human. You are becoming. You have to actually sell to their machine learning to be able to promote your uh, product. So you think that NX e-commerce is no longer uh, is no longer B two C. It's like B two robot. It's like I would say machine to machine. M to M. What? <laughs> yeah, it's not the rapper, but the, not the M and M. On to the fifth one. Mobile commerce is voice based. So you think that? Tell me more about that. So Alexa is your agent. If, if you're in, in a business of showbiz, you have your own agent. An agent means a people that you empower to represent you. So it's a representation of um, uh, commerce. So currently we have Alexa, we have Siri, soon we have um, Cortana and Microsoft. As we are moving toward this, um, uh, voice becoming more and more um, Predominant compared to just images or, um, or 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 photo or video, and if you're in business or marketing, you should consider learning about algorithm. Uh, my question was: so there's Cortana, there's Alexa, there's Siri, there's what's the Google one? They call uh, Google. Google. Which one should they double down on? In because there's a lot. They should double down on everything. Not uh, if you have to focus, uh, Amazon. And then let me tell mm. you why. Because unlike everybody else. Uh, Siri is run by Apple, which is selling. It's a technology company. Google is, is a digital marketing company. And Facebook, for example, they still a social network, oh. both e-commerce, and also I think it's going to be a data company. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways, super, super cool. So we are down to last three. And I Number six, up. analytics 3.0. Yeah. So if you already jump into the bandwagon, we have to live on analytics. But we are getting, in, in 2018 and forward, we're gonna be having super analytics, where analytics being able to not just identify one facet, but being able to do attribution. And what I mean by attribution, mean that you have to be able to track the customer purchase experience. Since this is an experience-based purchase, you have to be able to track them across multiple channels. But the sales could happen in, in, a, in a four or five different mm -hmm. channels. Could be starting in the Facebook, then ending up in the YouTube, YouTube Google. and then finally close in the uh, Google. Google search. Yes. I, so we were really heavily applying to like, uh, instead of just doing social channels, we could also do search channels and yeah. YouTube. And, and then in the hardest thing right now, this is what we, in Yverse, we are really working really hard to create a system, a process that can track where everything. you are, everything from start to finish. If you can do start to finish, you can provide better experience, and in return, you get a better ROI. No, no one's safe. All right, mm -hmm. number seven, we're only down to two more. Yeah, two more to go. Showroom only as a retail. <laughs> so if you think about Best Buy, I don't know about you, I go to Best Buy, it's only just checking out, so I can try <laughs> to buy, buy. I end up purchasing. Window shopping. Yes, window shopping. So showroom, 
um, should start thinking about it instead of just a bunch of shelf. They should start thinking what they call uh, more like a, as, a, as a place of retail experience. So imagine if you have, uh, imagine Best Buy if they redesign their, 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 their store as a just showroom. What they mean by it, they don't have to carry everything in their store. People nowadays getting getting like high. inventory they stop at yes, the they, they just designed this thing for a place that mm -hmm. kind of like an Apple store. Oh. They can come in, try it out, practice it, ask questions, and less about purchasing because mm -hmm. most of the time they can they can place an order in between three to four hours they can be arrived in your home. The the <laughs> last the final one is the hardest one is that product is no longer priced as per item per SKU but it's mostly, I call it like a, a different set of business model. It's mostly by experience base. So as a brand, you're no longer a, a product maker, but you're more like a product curator. It's a lifestyle curator. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, you can do subscription-based product. And what you do oh, is that becoming their, uh, it, you basically become your customer's best friend. They are the one that recommending the products or even selecting the right products for it. Uh, the next retailer has to live in the data. So you have to be relevant to your customer. If I don't like um, iPod, don't offer me an iPod. Mm -hmm. If I, based on my purchase habit, I really like Android, give me an Android. Um, subscription model, exclusive model, for example, mm -hmm. you know, makes certain things only available on the store instead of everywhere. And, and also, how about this? Um, the, you know you can you can you know upgrade all the time by just paying monthly. Imagine mm -hmm. if Apple come up with that idea. It's like <laughs> you know pay hundred dollars and all your phone is always upgraded anytime you want. If if they have a new well, that's product, what cellular uh, companies do right services. Yeah, but imagine as a brand, mm -hmm. you can create a store that subscription su not subscription, but it's like um, you know unlimited purchase. Um, on, on on the clothing because clothing right now it's mostly um, monetized. Um, you know, it has go in style. And, you know, oh. imagine if they're willing to pay a little bit premium, and what in return that they can just return their jacket and get a new you know style. That's really cool. Out. Anyways, guys, so this was all our eight tips. I'm gonna have it all down below. Call to action is just read those things. Be aware of what's coming up. Do you wanna say that? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Always providing value. Value. Values. Be value obsession. We're also obsessed with giving. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me, and I really appreciate it. Mwah.